Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Are you ever looking at something on your Mac and you really wish you could quickly zoom in and zoom back out because you want to look at the details a little better? Or maybe you're looking at one of those websites that gives you all this tiny little font that's hard to read. Wouldn't it be great if you could quickly increase the size of everything on that page? Well, let me show you how to do that on your Mac. Okay, I'm going to show you two different ways of zooming in on the screen. The first one is actually called screen magnification. If you find it in system preferences, that's what it would be called. So let's say you're on this website here, and you're looking at this Marty Bell artwork, and you'd like to zoom in to check out the windows here. Well, one way of doing that is with screen magnification. You can hold down con the control key while using two fingers on your trackpad. I'm just going to do two fingers up now while holding down control. Look at this. Zoom right in. Is that crazy? Zoom out. That looks pretty good there. You can even move around a little bit while you're in that zoomed in mode. And then when you want to get back to normal, just hold down control again and do a couple two finger swipes down. Now if you don't have a trackpad, there's other ways of doing this. You can use the keyboard also. Um, to do that, you would use the, a combination of three keys. Option, Command, and then they call it Option, Command, Equals. I like to think of it as the plus sign for magnifying. And to make sure that it's turned on, you first need to use an Option, Command, 8. And now, there we go. It's a little clunky because you have to do it a little bit at a time. And then when to zoom out, it's Option, Command, Minus Sign to get you back to regular. Also, if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can use Control and then the scroll wheel like this, which works kind of like the trackpad, just not as smooth. So another way of zooming in actually is within the application, in this case, like Safari. So let's say you're looking at this web page. Here's one, uh, an all music page on Jimmy Buffett. And they've got these links down here, and I don't know why, they use this tiny little font. Well, you could zoom in just like I showed you with that other one, like this, but that's just doing the whole screen at one time. Let's say you actually want to just zoom in on the page. Well, up here on the View menu, you'll find Zoom In and Zoom Out. And not surprisingly, Zoom In uses the plus sign. It's a Command Plus and a Command Minus for Zoom Out. So let me zoom in. And then I'll use the Command Plus to do it again. So there you go. Now this is much more readable, and you'll notice that the zooming actually affected graphics and text. So everything zoomed in, but only within this Safari window. The rest of the screen didn't zoom at all. And now I can zoom right back out. And another trick here, if you zoom in and you've lost track what supposedly normal zoom is, a command zero will take you back to the normal setting. So you should play around with that a little bit, get the hang of it, use each trick where you think appropriate, and have fun zooming your screen.